All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Chakudash. Double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And Shalom to Allah Achim and his truth and sincerity, starting with the 144,000 and the one third of the nation of Israel, which we're fighting to be a part of, all right? And the one third consists of, of men, women, and children, all right? You know, just throwing that out there. I don't mention that, you know, in my lessons. But without further ado, you know, this lesson is going to be going into uh, Psalms chapter 21. <laughs> All right. And Lord willing, I'm going to uh, be able to get through this whole chapter. You know, if any uh, precepts come into mind, I'll, I'll uh, Lord willing, I'll, I'll pull it through the script, um, through the spirit. All right. But without further ado, let me start in uh, verse one, Psalms 21 and one. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the king shall joy in thy strength, O Yahweh, by Shimei Hawashai, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice! Thou hast given him the, thou hast given him his heart's desire, and has not withholden the re request of his lips. Silah, all right, and this is speaking about the Messiah, all right, Yahushai. Okay, it says. For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. You know, and, that, and the elect, uh, you know, uh, is going to go through the same thing. All right. Just like how Shai received his glory. He received that, that crown of uh, pure gold. Okay. Uh, the elect is going to receive the same blessing. You know, Yahweh Shai, he, he's uh, the prototype for the elect. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. He's the um. He's the first fruit of the first fruits. He's the elect of the elect of the elect. <laughs> okay, because you got the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's that's the elect. All right, the Lord chose that nation. You know, pursuant to uh, a plethora of scriptures. You know, one that comes to mind, uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. Okay, uh, Psalms 140, uh, 149, I think it's 149 and 19, okay, uh, I'm trying to think of some other scriptures, uh, Baruch 4, I forget the exact verse, but it's around verse, it's around the top, you know, verse 1, 2, 3, you know, but Baruch 4 tells you, you know, that the Lord pretty much punishes, you know, the Israelites, you know, because, uh, we moved him to anger, all right? That's the only reason we're at the bottom. That's the only reason, you know, why why the earth is in the condition that it's in right now because of our, you know, rebelliousness to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But, you know, pursuant to prophecy, you know, we've received this word once again. You know, our pure minds uh, were stirred up, as it were, all right? The Lord stirred up our pure minds, and now we have his name again. You know, we know the true name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, and the name of his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shai. All right? Which, that's the power source. Now we got back this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We know we're the Israelites. We know who the enemy is. Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. We know, and you other nations too. All right? We know who the enemy is. We understand that, you know, there's going to be wicked Israelites that won't make it. All right? And I say all that to say that, you know, there's levels to the elect. All right, so like, you know, I'm not trying to get too off topic, but you got the nation of Israel, that's the elected nation. And then among the nation of Israel, you have the elect of the, you know, of of the nation of Israel, okay? Because two-thirds of our people are wicked and they're going to be cut off. And then, you know, among the elect, you have the ultimate elect, which is Yahweh Shai, all right? Because he's the first spirit created, all right? This is who this is talking about. It says, where was I at? Uh, verse 4, it says, He asked life of thee, and thou gavest to him even length, even length of days forever and ever, everlasting life. And that's what we're fighting for, all right? Just like, you know, Yahweh Shai went through uh, his lot, his course, okay? He, he, finished his, 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 he finished his race, and we're running that same race on a straight gate. 
you know, to receive everlasting life, to receive that glory that we had at the beginning. Lord willing, we're of the elect. You know, the beginning that we had, uh, Salakia, uh, the glory that we had at the beginning, you know, with, with Yahweh Shai, all right? When Yahweh Shai, you know, was created, he's the first of creation, and then Yahweh Shai created the rest of the elect. So if we're of the elect, you know, we had that glory, we shared that glory with Yahweh Shai in the beginning, all right? That ultimate power. And that's what we're fighting for, all right? We're fighting for, you know, that first estate. All right, so continuing on. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty hast thou laid upon him. <clears throat> for thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding glad with thy countenance. Which, which, uh, what's the countenance of the Lord? This truth. All right. Like the um, like the anointing prayer, all right. Uh, uh, the Lord bless thee and keep thee and cause His face to shine upon thee. That's His truth. All right, it says in Isaiah sixty, you know that darkness covered the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord, you know, pretty much gave us this this light. All right, and that's what's you know making us. That's that's what 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 makes us glad. All right, there's not much that makes us happy in this evil you know, polluted, wicked world that we're living in, you know, but one thing that definitely <clears throat> makes us glad and makes us rejoice, which is not even of this world, is this truth, which is the countenance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, for the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies, Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Right? And this is how you know this is, you know, speaking about Yahweh Shai. Because who's the right hand? All right? Who's at the right hand of, of the Most High God? You know? Who's sitting on the right hand of, of the throne of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. All right? Our Messiah. Whom we're waiting patiently for. All right? And uh, this scripture, you know, makes me think of... I'm going to get two precepts on that. Thy, thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. All right. I'm going to get I'm going to get two scriptures. All right. Um, because that makes me think of a lot of scriptures, actually. You know, Yahweh Shai was set up to be a stumbling block, a stumbling block, Salakia. All right. Because a lot of Israelites, I think it's 19. A lot of Israelites, you know. Uh, stumble over Yahweh Shai. They can't, they can't, uh, you know, accept Yahweh Shai because they were, they were the same spirits that said crucify him. All right, those those were the same spirits in the ancient world that said let his blood be on us and our children. So those same spirits are back and they're still re rebelling, rebelling, you know, and disrespecting Yahweh Shai. So that's why it says thy right hand shall find out all thy enemies. That's how you can tell when somebody isn't right. You know, when they're not. Coming in the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and giving Yahweh Shai the respect that he this, this due onto his name, you know. This man, this man died for us, man. He 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 was tortured, he was beaten, humiliated, he was put on a cross, he was nailed on a cross, man. He he had a, a crown of thorns forcefully uh, uh shoved on his head, you know, ripping his flesh. You know, muscles were torn off, his bones were showing. He, this man went through pure hell that the nation of Israel could have a chance of, of salvation. All right. But it's going to start with the elect because the two thirds, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to uh, give you how shy that respect. I might have to uh, hold up. 19. Oh yeah. 19 to 20, Luke 19 to 27. But those mine enemies, and this is how shy speaking, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should ran over them. Bring hither and slay them before me, in the NLT. And as for those, uh, it's like, and as for these enemies of mine, who didn't want me to be their king, right? That's why, that's how the Lord is gonna find out all His enemies, by by the ones who don't want, who don't want Yahweh Shai to be king over them. All right, there's a lot of Israelites that want to do their own thing. That they want to establish. Their own righteousness. They want to be the guy. They want to be the top guy. You know. 
They don't want to follow order. That's how he's going to find out all his enemies, his right hand. It says, bring them in and execute them right here in front of me. All right. And that's a prophecy. Okay. Because the scripture says that judgment must begin at the house of Israel, which is those who know that they're Israelites. So I'm going to get one more uh, precept on, on that. You know, because like I said, it made me think of a few uh, precepts. So I'm going to just get two. All right. Psalms chapter two and verse uh, 12. It says, kiss the son, at least he be angry. And for you Old Testament only Israelites, who was that talking about? Who was his son? Who was the son that is that is saying to kiss? Which, you know, really that means to like salute or to reverence or to respect. Or like it says in the NLT, to submit. That doesn't literally mean kiss. You know, even though that was an ancient custom, you know. In the ancient world, you know, just like the... Uh, the so-called, you know, Sicilians, the so-called Italians, you know, they'll, they'll like kiss each other on a cheek. The the men will do that. That's how men greet each other. That, that goes back to the ancient world. But really, in this scripture, it's speaking about su submitting to the son. Who was that talking about? Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, at least he be angry. Kiss the son, at least he be angry. And ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled. So, like, let me uh, turn on his brightness. It says, when his wrath is kindled, but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. And why why are you blessed? Because, you know, if you kiss the son, if you submit to Yahweh Shai and acknowledge him, he's going to acknowledge you before his father because he's on the right hand side of the father. If you acknowledge Yahweh Shai and acknowledge that he died and rose again, that he was resurrected. All right. That he's all powerful. That he's sitting on the right hand of, uh, of the Father. That you know, if you acknowledge that he lived and walked on in the flesh, and all his miracles, and all that's written of him, that he's in the Old and New Testament, you know, the Lord is gonna acknowledge you. But if not, you know, let me go back. Psalms twenty-one. All right. And verse eight again. It says, "Thy thine hand shall find out all thine enemies." Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. You know, it says, Thou shalt make them, the ones who, who don't acknowledge Yahweh Shai, who don't want Yahweh Shai to rule over them, Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. So this is, you know, why, you know, it would, it would behoove you and it would be wise of you to kiss the son, to submit to Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, it would be wise of you to fear the Lord. All right. That's why the scripture says uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, because it's wise to fear the Lord. Because you under if you fear the Lord, you understand that, that the, if the Lord is angry, he could easily jack you up. He could easily, you know, take you out. He could judge you. And that ultimate judgment is going to be that that uh, thermonuclear fire. All right. That's that oven. All right. I'll get, I'll get a, another precept on that. And uh, the book of Malachi, chapter four and verse one it says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. All the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And it's wicked to, to deny Yahweh Shai. That's wicked. All right, to deny his, uh, you know, to deny uh, Paul's writings. All right, to deny, you know, uh, John the Baptist. Okay. You know, it's wicked to, to you know, add, add to the word and to take away from the word. Okay. And that, you know, also going into, of course, our enemies, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, which is uh, turning the world upside down. You know, the world is polluted, you know, animals, you know, are, you know, uh, uh, you know, being uh, extinct. Animals are dying off. OK, uh, people are, are, are sick. All right. The spraying uh, uh, damn chemtrails, you know, putting uh, GMO foods and all type of other garbage in, in the supermarket for us to eat. All right. 
So that's why this place got to be destroyed. That's why Babylon the Great has to has to be destroyed, man. According to prophecy, it says in that day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. <laughs> Which that means nothing is going to be left when Babylon the Great is destroyed. Continuing on, it says, uh, and the fire shall, uh, the the Lord shall swallow them up in His wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They have imagined, so like they imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Which ultimately, you know, that's their, uh, that's these devils thinking that they're going to put a, a micro C hip, a RFID micro C hip in everyone. You know, uh, put a neural link in everyone. You know, ultimately they're NWO. They think that's that's, you know, they think they're gonna actually be able to accomplish that. All right, but let's see what Job said. All right, let me get that in the book of Job. I think it's uh, is it Job five? No, I think it's Job twenty. I think it's Job twenty. Oh, as a matter of fact, I don't think Job said that. I think, I think Zophar said that. You know, uh, let me see. Yep. Job chapter 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency shall he be in straits, which means difficulty or trouble. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him, which that wicked is speaking about the other nations, all right? So all these other nations ultimately are going to come against Esau, all right? They're going to come against America, all right? And ultimately ultimately launch uh, ICBMs on his land, all right? And this is talking about the wicked elite of Esau. Verse 23, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the wrath, the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So when this devil thinks the new world order is about to, you know, be in full effect, you know, when this devil thinks they're about to, you know, put a micro C hip in everyone and everyone's right hand or on their forehead, you know, it's, it's going to fail. The missiles are going to hit. You know, Yahweh Shai is going to come back with the holy angels. The elect is going to get those new bodies and get beamed up and delivered from that destruction. So this devil's worst nightmare is about to come to pass. All right. <clears throat> so I'll finish this out. It says, therefore, therefore shalt thou make them to uh, turn their back when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon the, thy strings against the face of them. Right, what are the arrows? The so-called, uh, well, not so-called, but the um, the ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, not literal arrows. All right, you think the Lord, as powerful as He is, is just gonna <laughs> is gonna uh, take down Esau with, with regular ancient world arrows? Like, no, the Lord's arrows are are different than those than you know regular ancient world arrows. All right, the Lord's arrows are the ultimate arrows. That's what's going to take this devil down. That's what's going to destroy Babylon the Great, all right, as well as other, you know, land masses such as the land of Israel. That land has to be cleansed. You know, it will be built back up, though, after, you know, after uh, it's destroyed and, you know, and fire and purified from that fire, the land of Israel will be built back up, you know, pursuing to uh, Ezekiel, uh, I want to say 39, you know, but America will never... Like I said in Malachi, there should be neither root nor branch. There's going to be nothing left of America. All right. It's going to be a big desert. All right. Be thou exalted, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, in thy own strength. So will we sing and praise thy name, which that's what we're doing with these lessons. Going out on the highways and byways, we're singing that new song. All right. Written of in uh, Revelation 14. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. Once again, giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash.